Hey guys, Lego World War II Reviews here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Brickmania Fokker DR1, the Red Baron's Triplane. This is a uh, kit that was designed by Daniel Siskind, so yeah, first I will go ahead and just show you guys the box real quick. That's if I can fit it in the shot. Actually, hold on, let me just leave it in the background for a second, and then I'll move the plane a little bit. Alright, so there we go, so that is the box. Very cool box. It contains 302 Lego Brickmania and Brick Arms elements plus printed building instructions. And uh, it is a skill level of veteran, so um, it would be a sort of hard kit to build for someone who isn't really good at building Legos, I guess, or isn't a, um, is like just getting into building Legos. And there's the other side. It says, quality guarantee. Guarantee if upon opening the sealed package you should find any parts broken, missing, or defective, please contact us for prompt customer service. And it just shows their P.O. box and everything. Another shot of the Red Baron's plane. And, um, very nice black box. So, okay. And then it has Daniel Siskin's signature on the side. Number 81. I guess that's the number that I got out of 300. Because that's how many of these kits were made. Is uh, 300. And uh, as I'm recording this right now, you can still buy this on the website. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but I don't think these will be up on the website for too much longer. So if you're going to get one, uh, I suggest try to get one pretty soon, because once they're gone, they're gone. But also, in the kit, which is really nice, I, uh, I know in other Brickmania kits you get this. It's a, uh, Certificate of Authenticity. So, that's really nice. Has a brick mania up there, certificate of authenticity, Fokker DR1, model number 411, serial number 00081, batch number 2, date assembled December 8th, 2014. Then it has his uh, signature again, certified by Daniel Siskin Designer. So, I'll go ahead and put that off uh, to the side somewhere. Oops, sorry about that uh, background noise. But uh, also, you get this really nice instruction booklet, which is like really, really high quality. I, I really love uh, this kit for that. This is my, I forgot to mention, this is my second Brickmania kit, and I plan on getting more in the future. So, yeah, Fokker DR1, Red Baron Edition. So. Then, uh, everything there. Then that's that side. And then there's a picture of, um, Manfred von Richthofen. So, I'll just go ahead and give you guys a quick, you know, little shot of that. You can pause and read if you want. But it tells a little bit about him. Or it tells a little bit about the Red Baron himself. So, yeah. Also, you get a figure in the set, um, which the torso is printed by, I believe, uh, Citizen Brick. Oops. Yeah, the torso is printed by Citizen Brick. So, oh, let me focus there. Nice, okay. But yeah, the torso is printed by Citizen Brick. You can just sort of see, you know, like all the buttons and pins and everything with the iron cross. And yeah, you also got two rubber bands in the set. To, for his scarf. I only had to use one, but they do give you two for some reason. I guess maybe if one of them snaps, you can use the other one. That, or I am missing something. But, um, yeah, and then it just gives you this normal Lego head, which is very common on, uh, Brickmania kits and figures. And then you get these normal aviate, this normal Lego aviator helmet with the goggles. 
There's no back printing, but there isn't really needed. But yeah, that's uh, that's our figure there. So I'll go ahead and set him in the back. Now let's get on to the actual plane. Now this thing is really, really nice. The instructions weren't too hard to follow for it, um, but we'll just start from the front. This, th uh, the little, uh, I forgot what that's called, I'm sorry, but uh, that spins, I'm sorry I forget what those are called, the, would that be the engine? Well, I mean, yeah, that's the engine, but this, uh, the propeller, uh, there we go, it's uh, the propeller, the propeller spins on it, so it's really cool. Then all across it you will see iron crosses, so those are really cool. Those are uh, stickers by the way, decals. But this thing is very red, you can probably notice. Uh, literally most of the parts are just red pieces, and uh, it's mostly tiles as well. So, yeah. But, uh, it's got the wheels, which are really nice. Just give you guys a shot down there. So, those are really nice. It's got, uh, the three wings. Those are really nice. I'll give you a shot of the other side. So, yeah. That's really nice. Um, that's just along the side there. Then it also comes with two, uh, Brick Arms Prototype MG08s. Which are only available in this set as of right now. Or as of recording this, they're only available in this set. So, those are really nice. And, uh, let's just look from the back there. Very nice. I'll also give you a look from the front. So yeah, as you can see, it it's a really, really cool display model as well. Like, even if you're not a LEGO fan, just like if you're a World War I fan, this this thing is amazing. And you're probably wondering, does the figure fit in there? Yes, it does, and I will show you that right now. If I can get the figure. It's a little tricky at first, but... Uh, once you have put him in there several times, um, it's, it gets a little easier. But that's the figure in there. So, yeah. Very cool figure. Very cool plane itself. I'm really happy with this thing. Um, this retails for about... Uh, let me just put the camera down. This retails for about, I believe... $195 on the website, but uh, at the time, whenever I got it, they were having a one-day one, one day sale, excuse me, sorry, but they were having a one-day sale on their website, which they usually do every so often, so be on the lookout for those. It was, I believe, a 20% off sale, so I ended up saving about $30, so yeah, sorry for any background noise you hear, but this is a really nice set. I rate it probably um, a... 9 out of 10, to be honest with you guys. My only flaw is that the, uh, the wings sometimes come apart, and, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's really it. They don't usually come apart, but, I mean, you know, uh, sometimes they do. But, uh, oh yeah, you're probably wondering, is it swooshable? Yes, it is very swooshable. Um, so, yeah, you can sort of just... You know, take it and go, vroom, swoosh. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. Uh, so, overall, you get a nice box design, a really nice, high-quality... Uh, I forgot to tell you guys, the front... Oops, sorry about that, I hit the camera there. But the front and the back of this little uh, booklet here, this feels like a rubber. That That's how high-quality... That is, is it, it, it's a really nice uh, booklet there, and uh, you get the Certificate of Authenticity, very nice figure, and two Brick Arms prototypes, and very nice plane. So overall, it's a very good set. Um, I'll put a link in the description if you want to get it, 
as always, um, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.